to another video so I thought I'd vlog my day today because I mean I don't actually really know exactly what I'm doing but I think I'm heading into London and just kind of doing a few bits I would say it's like a cozy autumn vlog but the weather right now isn't screaming autumn I mean I'm not complaining because I love the warmer weather but I think today it's about 19 20 degrees today's Thursday and then over the weekend it's meant to be back up to 25 26 and obviously we're at the beginning of October so I been to Starbucks first thing this morning with Steve before he went off to work and now I'm just sat outside my hairdressers because I'm gonna get my hair done I'm getting the roots done and then a toner put on because the blonde that I had through it is on a little bit brassy it doesn't actually look like i need my roots done that much but i think when i went on holiday my hair gets really easily bleached by the sun anyway so i think it's lightened up quite a lot so it'll be interesting to see what the color what the root color looks like i'm going in there at it's 20 past nine now and my appointment's at half past nine i am literally parked right outside so i'll go in in like just over five minutes then i think what i'm going to do after that depending what the time is steve's leaving for london at 11 so if i'm done by 11 i can go with him to london i don't think i will be done by 11 in which case i'm going to go home and then i'm going to get the train into london and then he's going to bring me back i think in london i'm just going to have a wander maybe have a look around the shops i really want to go in harrods and see if they've got their christmas stuff yet i know it's really early to mention christmas and i mentioned it in my last vlog and i promise i won't mention it for the whole of october and november but if you want the good stuff you need to get in there quick so i'm gonna go have a look in harrods and see if they've got their christmas section up yet because it's always really cute in there i might see what classes are on at pineapple and base to see if i can squeeze in a dance class today as well since i'm up in london but yeah it's kind of like a see how we go kind of day because i don't 100 percent know timings of everything and what i'm going to be doing i don't know what time steve finishes basically he's doing an event in london so he could finish at five or he could, might have to save the whole event so then he won't finish till like maybe nine or ten so i could have a whole afternoon and evening in london by myself or i might just have the afternoon and then he'll come in with the evening and we'll go for a wander and get some food and things like that i'm going to go and get my hair done i shall see you after i've just come out of my hair appointment my hair's feeling all lovely i just had the roots done then i had a toner just to take out a bit of the brassiness that was there from the bleach last time from where i went on holiday and stuff but it feels so nice she curled it for me as well so i don't have to do anything with it today i don't know if you can see yeah you can well see half my makeup has come off so i will need to read look it looks like i've missed half a bit um so i will need to redo that before i go to london some people may think it's silly to wear makeup to the hairdressers but i always think that's the most like when you're sat in that chair looking in the mirror i feel like that's if you're ever going to feel ugly in your life that's when you feel the most ugly when your hair's wet and you're sat looking in the mirror so i don't want to make that any worse by not wearing makeup and also i found because i have dark dye obviously like inevitable that some is going to get on your head so i find if i do my normal moisturizer and put a foundation in that on it's less likely to actually stick to my head and it kind of sits on top of the makeup so that when i take it off it comes off a lot easier but to be fair my hairdresser is actually very good at not getting loads on my face or my head i am now on my way home if i can figure out how to get home i probably should put the sat on but i'm now on my way home i'm going to go home and let me come out maybe grab something to eat quick redo my makeup get changed and then i was going to drive to the station but i might just walk to the station so i don't have to leave my car there because obviously i'll be driving back with steve later i didn't chuck all my stuff in the car this morning so i wasn't sure if i was going to be done early enough to go with steve but i'm not so i'm gonna have to get the train i don't know how long i'll be waiting so i want to take my laptop in case i'm sat in a coffee shop so i can get some work done it should be a nice day quite a chilled wander i'm on my way to the station now i quickly did my makeup i was rushing so i wanted to get the next train that was like in an hour so i just quickly chucked some makeup on got changed and yeah now i'm walking to the station it's only about 40 45 minute walk so not too bad quite nice actually today it's quite it's not too hot. We are just heading to the station to get to London. Contemporary class. I decided to book one last night. I look very brown. 
quite orangey brown. Maybe there's the lights in there. But yeah, gonna go to a contemporary class. May as well while I'm up here before I meet Steve. But I got off at Leicester Square because I'm starving and I feel like I'm more likely to find something quick around here and then I can walk up to Covent Garden to pineapple. But I'm starving. I had something at Starbucks this morning, a ham and cheese croissant, but I haven't had much since. And I'm doing a two hour contemporary class, so I need something substantial. Obviously I will die. I have 40 minutes until the class, so it should be enough time to grab something and let it go down before I go there. But yeah, I'm really excited. I've never done this class before and I've not really ever done contemporary, so it'll be cool to try something new. But I shall let you know how I get on and I'll try and film as much as I can. and eaten I had the halloumi wrap from Leon oh so good and I think that should do me to get me through this class I 100% would have died if I hadn't eaten anything so I'm just heading to Covent Garden now it's literally ahead of me so I should get to pineapple about 15 minutes before the class which means I should have enough time to sort myself out go for a wee have a drink all that good fun stuff yeah I'm really excited I can't wait to do this class and I'll try and fill some bits if I can but if not I shall see you after it was amazing you've probably seen I think I would have posted a bit before this clip I think that's the first time I posted proper dancing online so I'm not sure how often I'll do that but it was a really fun class I'm actually outside the hotel that Steve has got a gig on at I'm just waiting for him to see what time he finishes I might go have a wander around Harrods I need to get some dinner and that I love days like this in London we just kind of wander around people watch see what there is to do get some snacks that sort of thing but yeah the class was really really good I definitely go again it is definitely helping get into as many dance classes as possible. So hopefully my next dance call, audition wise, will go well and it'll pay off. So I just quickly saw Steve. He had to go back to the venue though because he's got to stick around till about half nine. And it is five to seven now, so I've got a bit of time to kill. So I'm going to take a wander to Harrods, see if I can find something to eat. I think we're going to get food on the way home, but I am a bit peckish, so I might get snacks, see what other shops are around here. waiting for Steve to finish his get out hopefully it won't be too long I'm just gonna chill scroll on TikTok my feet ache so much and my back aches as well I sound like such an old lady but I have been walking around for a long time I did a two-hour dance class and then I've been walking ever since I haven't sat down I had a lovely wander around Harrods did some window shopping maybe imagination window shopping because a lot of it was stuff that I definitely can't afford to buy but I did get I'll show you properly when I'm not in the car but I did get something from the food hall from the little cakes bit it's a little mini Victoria sponge but the guy behind the counter was so lovely he asked me what I wanted and said oh, I was just a mini Victoria sponge and he was like I'll chuck an extra one in for you so I got two mini Victoria sponges for one I mean I think it was because it was like they close at nine and I was in there at half past eight so I assume they probably throw away a lot of the stuff that they don't sell like cakes and stuff I don't know how long they're allowed to keep them out for or whether they need to try and sell them that day so I don't know if that's why but 
regardless it was very lovely so I've now got two so that means Steve can have one as well we can have one each I was just gonna get one for me to eat while I was waiting for him but now I might wait and so we can have them together a bit later hopefully we'll get some dinner on the way home because I am once again starving because that wrap was what time to have it half past three so half four half five or six or seven so it was five hours ago so I do have a right to be hungry. But it has been a lovely day. It's been very spare of the moment. This morning I didn't know what I was doing today. I wasn't 100% sure if I was coming to London. I wasn't sure if I was going to dance class, what dance class. And then obviously originally Steve was meant to finish at five. So then I thought we was going to wander and have something to eat. But it's actually turned into a nice solo date day for me i mean i love london i would live in london steve i don't think would but i would 100 percent get a flat in london some people hate it don't they but i just love the hustle and bustle i love that things are open all the time you can just walk everywhere the tube's so easy to catch it's just so i just love it so yeah i've had a great day i will catch up with you all when i get home and i'll show you them cakes properly because they are they do look gorgeous we are finally home and i'm absolutely knackered it is 20 to 12 so i literally need to take this makeup off put my pjs on and get in bed because i do have to get up at seven for work tomorrow Ugh. let me quickly show you the cakes i got from harrods oh the raspberry's fallen off of this one and the little chocolate's fallen off this one they didn't quite make the car journey but look how good they look i think we was gonna eat them when we got in but i think because it's so late we're gonna save them for tomorrow so i'm going to end the vlog here i hope you enjoyed this random day in my life random day in london if you did enjoy it please do give it a massive thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you can see my future videos as well and i hope to see you in my next one Bye bye